Once again, YouTube, it's your Jay. We are here with week three of the UBL. As you can see, we are 2 0 so far, starting off strong. We're great. This man. <laughs> I just saw Kelly's react. No, hold on, hold on. We're going against Kelly, aka Under the Radar, who is the coach of the Maryland Torterrapins. As you see, he's 0 2, unfortunately, but he's a funny, cool, great guy that I've been able to get to know. Really funny guy, cool guy. And he just named the thing You're Hot. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Kelly. But we're going to go ahead and click A right here. <laughs> he told me to check it out, and now we checked it out. So we do see. So before this, uh, we already exchanged our teams to see what. Um, for his layout purposes, and I just forgot to write him down, to be honest. And here we go. So I got the pressure of entering the team before I enter in my team, uh, Decidueye, Decidueye, and Latios. So basically, I'm kind of surprised he didn't bring like a, a Blacephalon kind of check, but I guess his check would be probably AV Nidoqueen or uh, Spadef Suicune, I guess. Which would be my bet. I honestly have no reason to not kind of lead Haxorus. Kind of mess with leading Haxorus. Um, because it covers his team pretty well. I would say. So we do that. Um, if he leads Lottie or Suicune, then that's that's a pretty Suicune isn't a bad lead on him, to be honest. Needle Queen wouldn't be a bad lead either to try to predict Zeror, because Zeror is really free aside from Needle Queen. There's some other mods I think I predict him to bring, but I don't, I think this is it. I might be tripping though. I don't know. I don't know. Everything looks, uh, everything is as scary as I was fearing. I think, I think I might be misremembering. Black screen, no black screen. Beautiful. We'll see what he wants to lead. Rocket, I assume that is going to be, oh, it's Needle Queen. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we can literally press EQ. We just press EQ. Good thing we're mold breaker as well because we hit levitate we just click eq right here i'm not gonna overthink it i'm gonna pull up our calcs now could be sugar berry he very well could be but he's still gonna take some nice damage so we have haxorus out front with needle queen we don't know what type of needle queen this is if it's offensive or not oh is he sugar he's not sugar so we just or is he sash he's not okay that's okay <laughs> so a big threat out of the way, cool. So Haxorus, KO, Nidoqueen. Okay. Interesting turn one for sure. Huh? I guess because he did <laughs> I mean I thought he would have went like Suicune or um maybe Decidueye. Black Widow comes in. It's this thing. So he could be like Scarf Willow, maybe. We're gonna Earthquake. I don't know what Kelly's doing. He's gonna withdraw. Gone to Nebula. That's gonna be the Suicune, right? Okay. Maybe he accidentally. He maybe he didn't mean to go into Rotom. I assume he didn't mean to, because he knows Moldbreaker is a thing. We're gonna see how much this does. And it's good damage. I'll take it. And it's good damage. I'll take it. So what we can go is we can go into Double now, because I really don't like Double is specifically here for Needle Queen, and now we kind of don't need it anymore. So I'm okay with just going into it. He could double. Um, if he fires off a move, we can easily go with Baton Pass. Because uh, I feel like he would, he would go to Sidewai at that point. And we got me. I love Double Shiny, dude. I just love it. He said it was ugly, but I love Double Shiny. This thing's fire. If he gets a burn, he gets a burn. We're eating that, though. Sort of, kind of. He does get the burn. He do get the burn. He do get the burn. Uh, we naturally outspeed this thing, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, we could go for a, I guess we can just baton pass out. I should have made it so that we undersped this thing. Because if he's not running any speed, then it's kind of unfortunate because we'll outspeed it. Um, what do, I want? do I want a body slam potentially? I think I just want a baton pass. I guess I can body slam. If he does go into Decidueye, then we can baton pass afterwards to see if it has any speed. So we get a pair on this thing, that'd be kind of cool. He roars me out. Okay, so he's War Suicune. Oh, that's not good. That's no bueno. Uh, so Suicune to match HP. To max HP. Oh, bro, where are we? Why are we? Why are we? Come on. Let's see. Uh. 
EQ did 40 to 47. That's looking like about so it's looking like it's max HP. Um solar beam. Oh wait, it's in range. Well you know that's it. I think he's spadef then. We know we saw this thing out speed. No, we didn't. No, we didn't, no, we didn't. If it's calm, it's not in range anymore. That's 54 to 63. So I think like I would love to. I mean, he doesn't take us out if he doesn't have any investment though. But this thing is just a threat. So I kind of want to go back out into double. But all right, so I mean, if we could have got like, if we could have, we need to see if this thing had, if it's speed or if it is the death. Cause right now I don't know. I'm gonna opt to scald. I'm gonna opt to scald. Cause I wish I was sleep talk now for sure. And I was just getting healthier, which is unfortunate. If he roars again though, that's unfortunate. But we can't just body slam here. Guy, try to get like a little, a little para. He's gonna withdraw. Black Widow is going to be the Rotom. Or a body slam. Boof. This is actually still a decent chunk of damage, even after if we're burned. So I think what we do is we baton pass. Excuse me. We'll see if he has any speed or not. Because what would he, I guess he would overheat potentially. We're going to, well, yeah, we're just going to baton pass. Because we can baton pass um, and then go out into zero aura. That would be a bad play. Overheat. Okay, we should be able to live this for sure. Or not. We do. Living on one. Beautiful. We're going to baton pass about. So, we, oh, double, thick, thick. Look at that. You love to see it. Because we're not fluffy. Because just for this specific reason. And then we're going to go out into Haxorus. And we literally just click EQ. We just click EQ. That's all we do. We just click EQ. And then we can go with Cephalon. We just click Earthquake. He, has, he didn't bring a Fairy type. So, we could just. Actually, we could just click Dragon Claw. But in case he goes out into Scizor. I don't want to like not be choice choice into a move that's not super effective. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm this is the, that's the reason. That's the reason. Ooh, I did damage. It's lefties as well. It's lefties as well. Oh, I wish it was a two at KO, but it's not. So I think what we do is we go into Tokiami. We do that, or do I, I just want to EQ though. I think I'm going to Tokiyami. Oh, we can take it out with a Brave Bird at this range. But actually seeing how defensive it was, I'm pretty sure we don't. Cause if we go to like, this is Gonna roost, fair enough. Our quick did 64 to 76, obviously he has HP then. 53 to 62. So I think he has some defense investment. We can Brave Bird right here. See if he does have speed or not. Brave Bird's kind of free aside from Rotom. And we'll draw. Nebula comes out. That's going to be the Suicune. So getting chip on this thing is nice. It's going to be some good, decent chip. I'll take it. Yeah, that's good chip. That's good chip. That's good chip. That's good chip. So now we can go out into double. And we should be able to take this thing out now. After double dies, we'll go into Blacephalon. Double did it. Double did his job, though. <laughs> double did his job. So. This thing's gonna die, but double double came through. It came through. It, it lived on one and did what it needed to do. Even though like it didn't matter if it held on or not at that point. <laughs> but it did what it needed to do. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, I just hit my mic stand, I'm sorry. What's up with Suicune? I'm pretty sure it's in range. 
Even if it's Max Bidef. Uh, calm. 5463, yeah. Boom. Going to this thing. Going to this thing. Should be able to take it out. Now we go Solar Beam. Yeah, might as well click it. This is what it's here for. We just click it. Just click it. You might be like, what? But hey, gotta click it. If he stays in, he stays in. Otherwise, he has to go like hard to Sidui. I think. Let's go. We absorb the light. Power herb come through. Come on, Blasef. Come on, Blasef. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. We should be able to tank. We should be able to kill this easily. Boom shakalaka. That's a dead Suicune right there. Right, beautiful. So Suicune. KO. Uh, who would you KO? Got the beast boost, which is nice. Obviously, we're not Scarf. Suicune KOs who? Uh, double. Blacephalon. KO. Uh, Hawkeye comes out. That's going to be this thing. I'm going to be scared of a... A shadow sneak because if it hold up decidui how much is sneak doing to me yeah shadow sneak's taking me out so we're gonna go out hard down to pokiami what's up on ko suicune he could sd right here honestly that wouldn't be a bad play on his part at all if he is the SD set, he's, he's just gonna write out sneak. Okay. That's a decent amount. That's a very decent amount. I think what I wanna do here is I just wanna U turn. Because I feel like he goes Rotom Heat here trying to take the Brave Bird. If not, maybe he just goes for like Poltergeist. But I don't know if he wants this thing to take damage. Yeah, he swaps out. Iron Man goes, comes out instead. We're going to U-turn. Get some nice momentum. Crit. I don't think it matters too much, though. It's a freaking scissor. <laughs> it's, it's resisted as well. Uh, we just go out into Blissef again. And we can fire off a, th a flamethrower just in case this thing does want to stay in. We know it's lefties has roost is what we've seen so far. I haven't seen anything else. Um, we're gonna we're gonna opt to. I wanna. I was gonna say flame charge, but I don't know if that's worth. I think we just flame door. It's a Rotom. But I feel like that's what's coming in Rotom Heat. And a flamethrower is doing 28 to 33 if it's just max HP. If it's just max HP. If it's just max HP. But we'll see. What he wants to do here, he's thinking, thinking. Hopefully, he's just thinking, thinking. Then we'll draw. I assume you go Rotom. Captain America. You're gonna be Lottie. Okay. That does some decent damage. And I think what we do is we go, we can go Clef. We can go Clef or we can go into Tokiami. Excuse me. We can go Clef. I think that's a fair play. Yeah, I think Clef is cool. I think Clef is cool. I think Clef is cool. If he calms minds, then that's fine because we're unaware. I'm not too worried about it. I prefer if you call mine to actually. <laughs> We're gonna side shock. This is gonna do, if he specs, it's gonna do a lot. He's life orb, okay. So, does he go for it or not? I kinda wish I went into Tokayami. I think we're just gonna soft boiled up though. And you could go scissor on this. To, just to potentially like pivot around just in case he doesn't want to take the roll 
just in case i don't know if he wants to play a game of rolls or not i would like i would like if he went out into scissor and then we could fire off a flamethrower all right cool go scissor go scissor go scissor yeah that's gonna be scissor no it's not it's this thing i'm silly i'm silly i'm silly i'm silly no because it was iron man he has the avenger themes all right so what can we do here i think we just go out into Zara on the off chance he wants to um volt switch Zara's fine we can also take an overheat if we need to depending on how offensive offensive he is but we should be able to eat this perfectly fine if he does go for overheat gonna go for overheat he's gonna land it so we're gonna see how much this does. There's a decent chunk. So it is offensive Rotom. That's just straight up offensive Rotom. And I think we just go for knockoff right here. Cause he can't k kill us. And if he does go into anything else, we can knock it off and then Volt Switch. But we do know that Latios is um, Life Orb as well. So that's good to know. Adios is life orb. Heavy boots come off. I'll play. All right, fair. Ooh, that takes us out. That takes us out. So now we can go out and we go. Blah, 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 blah. We got on the float, <sighs> and we just click shadow ball. Um, so Rotom, H. KO Zero Aura. All right, and now we can click a very free Shadow Ball, I believe. Because uh, Rotom Heat, we know it's offensive. Um, Lasef just takes it out outright. And it's at minus two. I want a Flame Charge, but it doesn't matter because he just goes Decidueye. We just Shadow Ball. That's all we do, we just Shadow Ball. We did lose Zero though, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's kind of not needed. It wasn't needed anymore. Aside from maybe knockoff on Decidueye would have been nice. And Latios, because now Latios is kind of free to roam. But we should be able to pick up the KO on this thing. Perfect. Bless stuff. KO Rotom Heat. We're getting all these beast boosts, but can't use them because of Shadow Sneak on this to July. I'm bored. So he 100% goes on to the Sidui. No, oh, he goes this thing. Okay. Um, obviously, we've gone to. We want to go on to Tokiami now. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad play. Or do you go out? We go on to Clef again. I think we do. We go on to Clef again. Maybe he switches up and goes for Mystical Fire, trying to predict me to go into Corviknight. Goes for that shock again. I could have just went to Corv. Doing literally half. <laughs> it's doing literally half. I'm, I'm gonna soft boiled. I'm gonna opt to psychic. Okay. Doesn't take us out, which is cool. We're gonna soft boiled. Because we are mixed defensively. Very nice, very nice. I kinda wanna soft boil again, keep it healthy. No withdraw. I assume you go Iron Man. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect. And we just take this thing out. I don't know if he's max for death, though. So max HP. 
All right. Okay. We just go for flamethrower. Iron head instead, not bullet punch. So he doesn't get the technician boost, which is kind of cool. He has no. I guess he's not priority on this. There's a lot of damage though. It was a crit. Don't flinch me. <laughs> oh my god. That actually makes me upset. That actually makes me upset. <laughs> Not only did he crit me, he got the flinch. Oh my god, of all turns, bro. What can you do? What can you do? I guess I should have just predicted the swap and went hard flamethrower. What can you do, bro? Does it go for knockoff here or just go for iron head? Iron head again, okay. That's so on fort. That's so on fort. Kind of want a rooster to be as healthy as possible. Oh my god, what a turn. What a turn. We're faster. Okay. So is he gonna go for superpower? Is he gonna superpower me? Ooh, excuse me. I could see it. I could totally see it. You gonna U turn. Okay. That works for me too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's just the game being the game. There's nothing I could do about it. That's just the game being the game. All right, so I can't let Corv get too low, but I do need to get rid of this thing so Blacephalon can kind of just go in and not worry about it. I'm gonna Poltergeist me. Attack by our leftovers. Um, shouldn't do too much, I don't think. There's a lot. We're not to Brave Bird right here. You just take it out. So I think that's core. I think Corv uh, goes down here then. Oh, we don't. Perfect. Beautiful. Corvinite, you're doing beautiful things. Uh, so Corvinite. KO Decidueye. Of <sighs> America comes out. We're just gonna roost, cause why not? Gonna opt to side shock. Maybe we live. Maybe we live. No, we're not living. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's so unfortunate though. This thing's getting chipped. Um, do we go on to you and go for first impression? Cause now like ugh, losing corpse sucks there. Especially because Clef is now at low HP for no reason. I should have just went into Corviknight. But I mean, I had the, the specific situation for that thing, but <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, we just go, because he has Lottie and he has Scizor left. We just go into you. But now it's kind of scary. Because, um, I think we have the first impression, obviously. But I mean, hmm. Losing Corv there, because this thing now is a problem. So it does a decent amount. But now it's going to come down to like 50 50s, right? Oh, it's so frustrating, dude. That's so frustrating. The stuff onto a scissor. Flame charge isn't gonna kill it if it's HP. It's gonna U turn. Oh my god. Like, I don't think I played it wrong because, like, literally, that was the plan try to catch him off guard, and I did. Now we might just lose to this combo here. To be honest with you. Oh, I'm so upset. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> 
Because now it's literally a game of 50-50s, and I hate that. I hate that. I really, I really I do not like it here. So if I go into this thing, it doesn't matter. I would have to, like, predict a double. But then, like, if I swap out... It's so hard here. It's really, it's really hard here. Do we live anything from Eladios, bro? Eladios, Life Orb. The Cephalon can live nothing. <laughs> uh, I think we have, we have obviously has to go Caxerus right here. And like, I have to, I think I have to make the, the, the double, right? That's the only way I win, is for him to go on the, um, it's the only way I win, right? Because if he goes on the Scizor and I go first impression, then he just clicks knockoff and then we lose either way. So I guess this, this is my only play. It's my only play. I have to double. I have to. And he stays in. He got me. Should just first impression. Damn it. Dragon Pulse, that's a fair play. Uh, I got the 50 50 wrong. Oh, I'm frustrated. That's it. The, cl the cluff play, I think, depending on what his investment was, I guess. Oh, bro. That's so. I'm forward. That's so unfortunate. Like, that makes me so upset. <sighs> it is what it is. Good game, Kelly. Though should just. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that exchange was rough there. Because if I go into Haxorus and he just goes knockoff, right? Then it just sucks. But good game, Kelly. Unfortunately, we do pick up a loss, which is really unfortunate. Because I let both of my things get whittled down. That checked Lottie, which was a Lottie one. So. I don't know, cause uh, it's just uh, it's so annoying. <laughs> cause if I do like, if I do get the flamethrower off right, right then and there, then what I could potentially do, um, he either dies or he lives on like a sliver, and then if he doesn't roost right there, I probably would at that point I would have just stayed in with Clef and went for a flamethrower again, and then um, then Scizor dies right, and then we can just ah, uh, that's so frustrating. I don't know. I you guys tell me down in the comments below. Do you guys think like I don't think I misplayed it. I think that crit into flinch on Clef made the, the world of a difference. If I'm being completely honest, um, but that's just how I feel. Of course, like if I made wrong plays, you guys let me know down below because you know I'm always trying to learn from my mistakes. But without further ado, I am Boy J. I'm gonna give out your hair and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.